My name is Dr. Cynthia Fee, and I'm an orthodontist. I like to use the Sisu mouth guard for my patients with braces. It's important that you form this mouth guard with the assistance of your dentist or orthodontist so as not to damage the teeth or the braces. In this video, I'm going to show how to form this mouth guard over the braces. For our patients with braces, uh, we want to make sure that we don't form the mouth guard over the braces in a way that would lock onto the brackets and possibly damage and pull the braces off. We need to use a material to block out the undercuts. For this I have two different methods, either using a piece of aluminum foil, it's approximately four inches long and about an inch wide, or we can use orthodontic wax, either one works fine. And I'm going to show the method with the aluminum foil. We go to the patient's mouth and we start in the maxillary left molar area, the upper left, and we start to form that strip of foil over the teeth around the braces, coming around the arch here, completely covering any tooth that has braces and blocking everything out. You can see here we have a nice tin grin and that will then block out the undercuts. So when we go to form the mouth guard, it will not lock onto those brackets. It will be easily released. Now that our patient has the foil or the wax blocking out the brackets, we take the Sisu guard and we place it in the almost boiling water. I like to use a mouth mirror to lift the mouth guard out and we're looking for it to become soft and pliable like it is right now. I like to take a moment and just make sure it's not too hot for the patient. It feels pretty good. We have the patient open, placing the back part all the way in the back on the molars. I'm looking for the non-perforated portion on the two front teeth. And we have the patient bite down. Very good. And she's pressing with her tongue on the tongue side. And I'm helping it up under the lip. And then she can just form her lips and form a suction around that while pressing up with her tongue. And at this point, I wait about 30 seconds or so, waiting for it to harden. The other thing I look for is in the center where, where the V is here. We want to make sure that's centered so that it doesn't bother the patient's freedom. And at this point, it's feeling pretty hardened, so I'm going to gently loosen it away from the braces. The aluminum foil may come with it, it may stay. And we just kind of tease that away gently, like that. And what I'm looking for at this point is that the material is, is generally pretty even across the whole outer part of the braces. Ideally, I don't want it too wavy. And if I'm unhappy with the way this is formed, I can place it back in the hot water and reform it. At this point, I can ask the patient to try it in. So we're looking to see if it's staying in pretty tightly. And we can ask the patient to speak with it and test it out. Sella sell Sisu by the Shitty Shore. At certain points during the orthodontic treatment, there may be periods where the teeth are changing rapidly, which makes it ever so important to be working with your orthodontist to make sure that the timing is appropriate for this type of mouth guard. The beauty of the Sisu mouth guard is that during orthodontic treatment, as the teeth change, the mouth guard can be reformed by placing it back in the hot water. 